Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to see about how to extract a ligand from a protein PDB file. This can be used for molecular docking with Autodoc or any other tool. First, you need to obtain the PDB file that contains the structure of a protein along with the ligand. You can download the PDB files from the resources like RCSB PDB or any other databases. Or you should just know the PDB ID of the protein that you are interested. For that, you need to install the PyMole tool in your system. If your system does not have the PyMole installed, then see the link in the description for how to install PyMole software in Windows. First, you should load the PDB file in the PyMole software. To load the PDB file into the PyMole software, just give this command. This is the PDB ID of the myoglobin protein. So give the command fetch 1 MBN okay, and give the enter. Now the myoglobin protein is loaded in the pyrrole. This is the myoglobin protein along with the ligand. This is the hemoglobin ligand. Okay. Now select the hemoglobin ligand by clicking the any of the atoms of the ligand. Now the ligand is selected. After selecting the ligand, just right click on the ligand or right click on the HEM and click on actions then give copy to object then select new. Now the hemoglobin is copied to a new object called object 1. You can rename the hemoglobin by clicking on actions for the object 1 and click on rename object then give the name for the object and give enter now it is renamed to HEM so now we have two entries one is the whole num whole protein another one is the ligand okay this is the whole protein this is the ligand After copying the ligand, you can delete the old protein by giving this command. Delete one MBN. Okay. This is the entry one MBN for the myoglobin. So give this command. Delete one MBN and press enter. Now the one MBN entry is deleted. Now only HEM entry is present. This is our ligand. Okay. In this ligand, we do not have the hydrogen atoms in the default. Okay. We are now going to add the hydrogen atoms for the hemoglobin. To add the hydrogen atoms, click on actions for the HEM ligand and click on hydrogens. Then click add. Okay. Now the hydrogen atoms for this ligand is added now. After adding the hydrogen atoms, we can save this molecule. To save this molecule, click on file and click export molecule and click on save. Now this dialog box will be opened and choose the folder. I am going to choose the desktop and give the file name. After entering the file name, click on the file types. We have different types of files. We have different file types like PDB and MOL2, MOL, SDF, Master Format, XYZ, etc. You can choose any of the format. Now I am going to choose MOL2 and give the extension as .MOL2 and click on save. If you need SDF file, Choose the SDF format and give the format as .sdf okay. and then click on save. You can see here the location of the SDF file that is saved here okay, in the desktop. So you can see this is the file that we have saved now. 
this is the file that we have saved now sdf file hem.sdf file in this way you can extract any of the cofactors or any ligands from the pdb file you can just draw the structure of the pdb file by using the chem sketch or chem draw softwares but you will not get the exact confirmation that is present in the protein data bank file if you want the exact confirmation from the protein data bank file you just need to extract the protein from the pdb file if you want the same orientation where the ligand is binded to the active site you can extract that confirmation by using this method and you can use this molecule for molecular docking with autodock or any other software so thank you for watching if you have any doubts please post in the comment section thank you all